great. I think we've had uh, really, really competitive practices, and so uh, it's been a lot of fun, and we're enjoying it. Seems like the second team, first team, really been going at it, uh, doing a lot of talking, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a decent amount of talking, but uh, if I recall correctly, I think we won the, the last game. Um, just to go back to Boston, I mean, the last time you were in Boston, you played a little bit in the first half, you know, Mike was just saying, you know, so, so do you remember that first half? And oh, yeah, I remember that one, just hoping it wouldn't be my last chance. Um, so I definitely remember that one, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to play a lot better this time around. And hopefully we, as a team, can get the win because we let, you know, we let that when we were up, and we were doing well in, in some things in those games, but uh, we didn't we didn't get a chance to really close it out. The difference for you, the six minutes in Boston the one night versus what happens the next night. I mean, it's obviously a huge contrast. What didn't feel right on, on Friday that did on Saturday? What? How do you? Different different coverages. I think also just um, you know comfort level just you know going in there and you know kind of playing with the first team probably the first time I played in the first half the whole season against the Celtics so I had, had some jitters and missed, missed some layups and stuff like that and then I just tried to make sure stay aggressive do the same thing on the next night and uh, but focus a little more when you know on finishing plays. There was when you had the other had the turnover you fouled Pierce the three point line I mean it was kind of a rough stint yeah. there when you walked out that night you think man I, I may not get out there again or is this were you uh, I wasn't sure but then I figured oh three and three ninth maybe you'll give me another chance tomorrow. And when things start all of a sudden clicking on Saturday night but you know was that just was there some um, did Friday kind of prepare you in some ways or like get you eased in or was there something? Eased in for sure. I think that's the biggest thing is uh, I was like, okay, now I know what to expect and uh, you know, make, now it's kind of on me to make sure that I do a different job when I get out there, if I get out there against the Nets. Does that help you now going back to Boston that you had that taste up there and you've had the, the confidence to go in your way now? Uh, yeah, um, I think it will help, but at the same time, they're going to probably, you know, be really aggressive off picking rolls too and stuff like that. So. Did you in Cambridge for four years? I mean, did, did the Celtics, were they on your radar at all? Did you ever go to games? Uh, I, I always went to their games uh, if I could have. Actually, I, like every year, I would try to go to the Celtics versus Warriors game. Um, that's, and then any other time I could get tickets, I would obviously go. But uh, once, you know, KG and Ray Allen got there, I stopped going because the ticket prices went up way higher. But before that, you could go in for 8 bucks and 12 bucks, no nosebleeds. So, uh, you know, we could afford that. Jeremy, how do you see the matchup against Rondo? Is he one of the more unorthodox point guards in the league? He's unorthodox, but he's crafty, he's smart, and he's one of the best point guards in the league. And so um, I definitely uh, need to come ready because he's, uh, I mean, the way he's playing right now is unbelievable.